Hello, this is the Fallible Fiend. Welcome to the Prelude to Computer Science. Uh, this is interlude number four. My uh, daughter is actually taking computer science uh, now, so the, the video series could end at this point. But she does have a few questions, and there are some things that I'd like to uh, carry on with. One of the questions that she had for me is this. Is there an easy way to convert from and quick way to convert from decimal into binary? And the answer is yes. <clears throat> now, uh, I'm not going to explain why this technique works. I'm only going to explain how it works and then um, uh, leave it as an exercise for you to think about why it might work. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the number 75 and we're going to convert 75 <coughs> into uh, binary. We're going to take the decimal number 75 and we're going to convert that into binary. And the way the method works is this. You ask what is the remainder when you divide a number by 2. And of course if a number is odd, then the remainder when you divide by 2 is going to be 1. And, it, and if the number is even, then the remainder when you divide by 2 is going to be 0. <coughs> so we're going to keep. We're going to take. We're going to start with a number, and we're going to keep dividing it by two. And every time we divide by two, uh, we're going to add. We're, we're going to keep track of the remainder. <clears throat> so let's just do it here. The remainder when you divide seventy-five by two is one, and of course, seventy. Uh, two goes into seventy-five um, thirty-seven times, I think. Uh, two now 37 is an even number. I'm sorry, it's an odd number. And so when two goes into it, there's going to be a one remainder. And uh, when you divide by two, it will go uh, 18 times. Oh, and now 18 is an even number, so the remainder when you divide by two is zero, and it goes nine times evenly. The remainder when you divide 9 by 2 is 1, and there's a 4 remainder. And 4, when you divide by 2, uh, gives you a 0 remainder because it's an even number, and that leaves you 2. And of course, when you divide by uh, 2 by 2, you get a 0 remainder, it's an even number, and, the rem and uh, it goes in one time. Now, what you do is you take all these numbers here, and you read them off backwards. So we take this number first, then this number, then this number, then this number, then this, 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 and, and you read the number off that way. So it's 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And so what we figured out here is that 75 base 10 is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, base 2. Now, let me do another problem here. Uh, we'll do, uh, I don't know, 712, let's say. I'll have to check these when we're doing it after, or before I post these videos. I'm not, I'm not real sure what the answers are. But, um, uh, anyway, so, uh, um, uh, 712, let's say. So, let's, 712... Now, that's an even number, so when you divide by 2, you're going to have a 0 left over. And then the division of 712 is um, uh, 356. 356 is an even number, so the remainder is going to be 0. And that's going to leave us 178. Divide, and that's an even number, so the remainder is going to be 0. Divide by 2, and that's going to give us 85, 89. That's an odd number, so the remainder when you divide by 2 is going to be 1. And then you divide by 2. How many times does 2 go into 89? It goes in 44 times. 
Uh, 44 is an even number, so when you divide that by 2, you get a remainder of 0, and that's 22. 22 divided by 2 is 0, remain, a remainder of 0 and 11, or 11 remainder 0, I guess is the way we normally read it. Then uh, 11 divided by 2 is 5 remainder 1, five, uh, 5 divided by 2 is 2 remainder 1, and 2 divided by 2 is 0 remainder 1. So now we're going to write this out. We're going to do it backwards now. 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Base 2. And that's equal to 712 base 10. So that is how you solve the problem. That's how you solve the problem, and again, my question for you is this: uh, Don't be, don't hesitate to, to pause this, uh, these uh, videos when you need to, and and, and look at them carefully, rewind them. Um, uh, so, my, but my question is this: Why does this method work? Now, don't spend a lot of time on it. You don't have to, you know, kill yourself about it. Just something for you to think about: Why does this method work? Uh, take care and good luck.